Watching Dickoscopy TV, I'm Elaine Stenson and I'm joined in the studio now by Miriam Lavey Turner, who's a director with Whitmill Trust Switzerland. She's here with me now to look at the trustee role as a liaison. Miriam, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. So can you just start by telling me a little bit about what it is that you do? Well, we are uh, trustees and fiduciary service providers. Uh, as trustees, trustees normally administer a trust. And if I give a brief, uh, short introduction of what is it a trust from Blake's uh, Law Dictionary, it is a property interest uh, held by a trustee at another request, the settler, for a third party benefit, the beneficiaries. So actually, in a nutshell, it is a little bit like a will where you take a step forward <laughs> and okay. actually passes the interest of that property. Okay, and what kind of clients do you work with? Um, predominantly, our clients would be families throughout their generations um, and their jurisdictions where uh, the actual members of the family reside in. So as we develop more and more and people are moving countries, it becomes a uh, very international business. Um, we work with high net worth individuals, um, entrepreneurs from all social stratas. It could be you and I to um, big scale entrepreneurship and uh, corporate. And what does your role involve on a day-to-day -day basis from when you start with one client to the end of the, the job? What does it involve? It can start from a simple conversation. It can start from uh, an entrepreneur or it uh, an individual that would like to have an idea, let's set up a company, etc. And he would need the basic knowledge, the know-how on the network and uh, the, the, the right knowledge that can combine his idea and make it uh, successful. And this is where we come as a liaison between the individual, the families, and actually third parties um, that would be, for example, uh, Duke Scobie Bank. Okay. It can be, for example, um, other institutions that are related to that entity. But it can start from a small conversation as well as an introducer um, from a legal firm if it's in respect to a family that would like, for example, to do a big philanthropic uh, um, engagement. Okay. <laughs> and what kind of challenges do you face on a regular basis? Um, well, as we bring together our clients with, um, with their different needs, that can be so varied. Um, Is there anything very unusual you can <laughs> tell us about? Um, uh, yes, there are different out of the ordinary. Well, every person is unique, yeah. as you and I are unique, the families are unique, their history is unique, and really we give a bespoke service. So our, our, our really uh, core, um, our core wish is to provide the client with suited solutions, and we can always try to find a solution for the client. We make it work, this is the motto. And uh, uh, the idea is, you know, to overcome these, uh, these challenges. Yeah. Sometimes there are more uh, than, than others. Can so you give me any specific examples? Um, we specialize in, uh, in intellectual properties or in philanthropic um, uh, structures. And in the philanthropic structures, we've, uh, we are managing uh, large fa family foundations that they're um, devoting hundreds of millions to charity in philanthropy in the world. Of course, these mostly would like to remain anonymous okay. and uh, we cannot. But one of them can be um, a group of footballers that gathered together. They wished to do um, a few schools in uh, in a certain continent, the uh, defavorable continent in the world, and these schools were eventually to um, see the education of thousands of children, whereas the outcome the, would be that rare pearl 
that would come and sign a contract with uh, um, international world-known football uh, teams. So that would be one. Another one would be um, uh, a sheik that had uh, bloodstock, meaning uh, many horses, and all these horses are doing competitions. These competitions are um, not always successful, okay. <laughs> literally. but you know we are dealing with 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 cars. Uh, we are managing yachts, um, art. It's beautiful, you know that moves from one uh, from one uh, museum to another. All this actually needs to be properly structured for the royalties that come in, and this is the services we provide: is you know wealth planning solutions, um, tax uh, okay. solutions succession, etc. <laughs> okay, and what are the benefits for them to hire somebody like you, like Whitmill Trust? Well, as you know, knowledge is priceless. <laughs> and in Whitmill, as well as other uh, compatriot uh, trustee, trustee companies, uh, we've gathered over 100 years uh, of, of, of knowledge. It's above and beyond our independence. We are non-biased. So okay. when the client comes to us, if it is not the client for us, we would address him to um, another suitable service okay. provider. Um, but mostly is we the special technical knowledge and the facilitating of the access to the, the third parties that uh, and our personality, really. <laughs> <laughs> so you give it some warmth. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great, well, Miriam. Thank you so much thank for joining so us much, today. Thank you so much, Thank you. And that's all we have time for for now. But do check back later for further updates and interviews from the Duke of Scott BTV team. Bye for now.